Geo Detective, your favourite online series that I do, is back. Uh, and it's going to feature prominently this year, I am pleased to announce. Um, and we are going to kick things off with a good old classic style Geo Detective. Uh, last time we had Percy Pistachio, which was this one, which was a great one. Really enjoyed that. And today, I predict that we're going to do three. I might be wrong, but I predict that this one and this one are going to be fairly easy. And I don't say that lightly because things can come back to haunt me. And then I think I might struggle with this one. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's dive into these. These are quite urban snaps. So it's going to be a case of using the 3D building feature on Google Earth, as well as clues that I can garner from Google. So, first one was sent in by Spike Chipman. Nice sprightly name there, Spike. Thank you for sending in your photo. Why did I say that I would get this one quickly? And are we recording? We are. Why did I say I'd get this one correct? And it wouldn't take me long. Because of this. Because of this sign. This clue that Spike has left in there. It's backwards, so the image might be flipped. But it says, Fleet Walk Shopping. Some of you watching right now will know where that is. It looks fairly tropical because we've got this palm tree. Well, it looks like a warm climate. But I'd also say that it's America at first glance. Uh, mainly because of the name. So it could be Florida. But basically, I'm going to Google this and I'm going to find this shopping center. And then we're going to match it all up. That's why I think this one is going to be a Swifty. So here we go. Oh my god, it's not Torquay. Torquay is in England on the southern coast and that... You, it's so funny because I was thinking to myself as I said that, you do get palm tree-esque looking things in Britain, especially down south and near the coast, but the idea that this is Britain is quite funny based on this single image. Right, let's have a look at this. I'm going to go on images and see if we can find that, this thing. Because it might not be, I mean, it might not be the right place. Do you know what? I'm going to go on maps. Yeah. I think we might be, can you see that there? That could be what we're looking at. And there is a couple of palm trees there. It's so funny because I've been here. I was here a couple of years ago. And there it is, surely. Weird, weird place, Torquay. But we are going to get the exact palm tree in question. Are any of you surprised that the south of England has so many... I mean, they're not palm trees, but you get my point. This is known as the English Riviera, which French people must find hilarious because it's just... <laughs> I don't know. It's not doesn't really compare to the French Riviera. So, what angle are we coming from here? Got this building to the right. So that's the wrong way around. We'll get through this one pretty quick, guys. Yeah, you can just see the top of the handrail there that's poking out here. So we're back, back, back. It seems to have changed. This thing here comes right out. I won quite a few tickets on the basketball game in there, let me tell you. Ah, it's flipped. It's flipped, Tom. Remember, it's flipped. This is what's confusing me. So, there's that bit. And then this bit here is in the background. I thought something had been demolished. Never mind, we, we, we're getting there. We're looking for this telegraph pole with a sign on it, which is here. That's that's it. He's For some reason, Spike is standing in the middle of the road. Not the safest, or is he on a bus? He's on a bus. 
He's on a bus. Okay. Clever. Let's open up Google Earth. Torquay. We are down here. The English Riviera. Spike Chapman, thank you for your entry. But that was easy, mate. Not good enough. You can flip, you can fill, but it's just not enough to, to, to fool the wizard. What's his name? Spike Chipman. Spike Chipman, of course. There we go. That's one down, two to go. And that took me a couple of minutes. Uh, yeah, it was one of the easiest ones I've ever had. Sorry, Spike. No, sorry, but it, I've, it's true. Next, we have this one sent in by Thomas O'Flip, who may or may not have flipped his image. But here we go. It's a much more historic scene. Now, I would go out on a limb and say that this is Italy. It reminds you of uh, the Dogue's Palace in Venice. It can't be Venice because it's too big and landy. But it could be somewhere like Bologna, I'm thinking. Don't think it's Florence. But again, a quick Google, I believe, will we'll get this. And I'm going to go about it a slightly unorthodox but more entertaining way and type in cities. Um, like Bologna skyline and just see if we can get these very distinctive looking towers I'm going Bologna because I've been there and it just reminds me a bit of of that god that is a really tall tower isn't it in Bologna but it's not looking oh my god is that what it really looked like no why so many towers? I don't believe. I think that's bullshit. That's like something from Lord of the Rings. You do come across some amazing stuff uh, whilst doing this, but I don't think we have our town. So I'm going to go Florence. You know, it's a bit funny to use the word skyline because you associate that with skyscrapers. So there's a couple of ideas gone. Now I could go down the route of trying to pinpoint these towers using terminology and words but I'm going to keep down this strategy for now I think I've got it I don't believe it that's the fourth place I typed in I went Rome then I went Verona and I'll be damned if they're, if they're not the towers. Clear as day. So I'm going to go into Verona. I told you these two would be easy. Here we go. Now there's going to be a hill somewhere. 3D buildings are on. There's going to be a hill that he's looking down from. This is what we've now got to find. I'm going to get terrain on as well. I'm thinking he might be up here on this hill. Can't see many other hills. But let's have a look. That seems to line up. Just got to let the buildings load a bit. But we've got pointy one and we've got that other one which is more cylindrical. There's also a high rise building down there. See it? And I actually think we're directly in line as you can see with those two buildings okay we can use this tree here oh is that it could that be the tree oh my god look at this look at this so in that position that's not correct because look where that high rise building is the flat but if we go like this all of a sudden, oh, oh, we're there. I think we're there. We just gads to be. Oh, can we put the man down? That'll do the business. Mm. Wow, what a view that is. That's amazing. 
Now what's going to be crucial here is the height. How far up is this high rise building compared to the roof of this tower? It's, it's almost like it's on the, the, the roof there, the platform. So that's it. That's a good shot. That is good enough for me. I mean, that is, that's perfect. Isn't it? Ooh. There is a taller building there. I'm wrong. That's the building in question. You can see the, the antennae on top. So we're not quite, you know, let's not get cocky here. I would say that that is the view. It's just that we're, we're, we're blocked. Because on that one, it's too far to the left. Yeah, that's enough for me. We've got the tops of these lighter trees there here, and then I'd say that tree there is our tree in question. Yeah, I'm going with that, guys. Spent a little bit of time on that, but it's good to be sure. But I am now pretty sure that we are basically there, and that's going to be within 25 meters. Thomas O'Flip. That was flipping easy, mate. But enjoyable for a, for a quick one. Enjoyable. There was there was a bit of working out to do there, and it was a very lovely photograph as well. Right, that was a good little warm up. Two fairly easy ones to get me into the groove in this debut Geo Detective for 2024. Now it's business time. I don't know how hard or easy this one will be but I know for a fact it's going to be a damn sight harder than those two. We've got water, we've got English language, we've got affluence and wealth around here but that's all I have detected and recognised. Places like Florida have sprung to mind but I don't think we've got a lot to go on here. The waterway which reminds me of the waterway that me and Greg jet skied down uh, near Miami. It, it, I don't know, it just has that feel about it. Like, it, you know, you got that boat there, you got this boat here. And the shape of it seems like a wide waterway. So that, that's going to be useful. That's going to be the thing that's going to help us find this. It is quite likely, I suppose, that it would be the... Um, intercoastal waterway it looks like about the right width I don't see many tall buildings at all so I don't think we're in the middle of Miami or Fort Lauderdale but it could be the intercoastal waterway further up the coast or it might be somewhere completely different it might be like a a dockland area a marina sort of area of another city it could be Australia I don't know so what have we actually got, apart from this English language? Because I can't, I can't read this building here with this red sign. I can't read it. The, the image quality is too poor. Oh, by the way, this is by Tim Ponsonby. Thanks, Tim, for this submission. But even though I can't read that, that's going to be very, very helpful uh, in the latter stages of this to clinch where we are because we'll see it it will look it's a very unique looking building so that will you know clinch it for us and then that there just to the left of Tim's stubbly neck I don't know what that is it looks like some sort of dome like structure or building uh, an odd shaped building uh, all of this could be a big hotel or a stadium or something. We've got a boat, passenger touristy boat, it looks like. So, and then over there, that's quite a distinctive looking building as well, right to the right hand side of the image. And that's it. So, where do we start? Because there's not a lot to Google. By the way, for those who maybe don't know, I, I'm not Google image 
reverse searching. That's that's cheating in my eyes because it's so it's so powerful and so useful and it would just make the video pretty boring. Anyway, yeah. I don't know how much detective work I can really do here. I think it's more a case of let's get to the intercoastal waterway. I'll show you it on the map. So this is it. And boats use it. Jet skis, as many of you will have seen. But yeah, I think this is uh, quite likely, or maybe I'm just being optimistic, of being our location. If it's not, I honestly don't know what to do. But he is standing on a shoreline. He's standing at a point where you can stand by right next to the water. So, whereas if you look here, there's only a limited number of places where you'll be able to do that because these are all gardens, properties. <clears throat> so that's something. One thing that I could Google, I suppose, is this boat. And when I say that, I mean, I could type in passenger boat into coastal waterway. I might do that now, actually, because it's a big old search ahead of us if we're going to just search passenger boat. Right, and we'll go on Google Images, and our boat might turn up. Not at the moment, I have to say. Now, as I just said, I'm not allowed to reverse image search, but what I can do is, if I find a boat that resembles this one, then I can reverse image search that and see what other suggestions come up, and then maybe we'll find our boat. So, if I go Florida passenger boat, blue and white. Okay, not getting the sorts of results we want. Okay, let's flip it over to the normal one, normal Google. See if we can find some routes, some passenger boat routes, and then type that route in, you know, Fort Lauderdale to Miami, whatever, and then find it on Google Images. I tell you what, here's an idea. Let's go to Fort Lauderdale on the map. Because sometimes the ferry routes, I'm actually going to go a bit further north, West Palm Beach. The ferry route will be on here. Not at the moment though. Is there a similar thing on the west coast? Be around here somewhere, look. Similar waterway, similar width here in Tampa. So it's not just the ICW that we're searching for. Jacksonville, Orlando. Is there anything in Orlando? Any waterways? Okay, back to Google. Double decker. Two deck passenger ferry. This is always the way. At the start of your search, you just get nothing that looks anything like what you're after. But it's because you're not Googling well. Some sick boats coming up though, I have to say. Tourist river boat double decker. Yeah, this is closer. By the way, this might not be Florida at all. I think it's because I've been down that intracoastal waterway recently that's making me think that, but I, I'm just letting you know I'm open to other ideas and I will explore other avenues. At the moment I'm struggling to find this anything like this boat. thing is, that's the typical boat that you would get on a, on a river passenger, but I just can't find anything that close to it. Bear with me. Water tour boat, Florida, let's try that. This is closer, this is better. Double decker water tour, how about that? 
I'm just looking for one with a blue stripe at the bottom and then I'm going to go to town on it. Ooh, that's the closest one yet. And that's Chicago. That is by, f that could be the same boat, man. So could this be Chicago? That's the question. Could be. Blue water from the lake, perhaps. I think we might be onto something here. I'm just looking at this boat and that is, not only is it the closest thing I've found, but the blue strip at the bottom is the same. We've got this white vertical strip. Yeah, that's there too. Look at that. I'm not getting too excited because frankly, I didn't think this looked like Chicago, but really, if you look at these trees, I have been thinking they don't look that Floridian. I mean, that, that's, that's been my main qualm. These trees here, they look more deciduous and northern and less tropical. Let's see if this is Chicago. And yeah, these waterways really do match up in terms of width. So, and they, it looks more blue over this way, but it can't be because in our photo there's no tall buildings. So if we are in Chicago, and I'm not getting my hopes up, we can't be that central. I've got to find an ideal spot. I'll be gutted if this isn't Chicago. But even if it isn't, we've made a big breakthrough with that boat. The next step, if it isn't Chicago, would be to see where those boats are used. But let's see here. Does that boat come all the way up here, really? I don't think so. I mean, this is skyscraper central. There's tall buildings everywhere, apart from down here, but there's still loads in the background. So the upshot of that is, is, is that I don't actually think we're in Chicago disappointingly but that's why I didn't get my hopes up so the next question is where else are those boats used let's find out right let's try and uh, reverse image search this get those buildings out of the frame and see if there are any images of this boat outside of Chicago that's what we're hoping for these boats may have been built elsewhere, they may have been sold all over the place. But I may have found something here. Ship, Evening Star, passenger ship, marinetraffic.com. So it's actual information on the vessels themselves. Right, Evening Star, year built, 2001. Huh, it's not telling me what type, it's just saying passenger ship. I was hoping for something a bit more specific. There's quite a few websites that track marine shipping, live maps of their location and whatnot. Really, I want, I want to find maybe a forum where people are talking about these ships, the, the model, the brand, the makers of the ship. Okay, we found out where it was made. Right. Here's a clever thing we can do. We copy everything except Evening Star. Just all of that. Just, just put all of that in and then maybe a sister ship will come up. Liberty Island. Dredger. Oh. What if we do that? No results. Interesting. Even though... Evening Star should come up for that. Right, Evening Star's come up. Ha! <laughs> it's literally just there. We can see where it goes. It does go 
Let's see, I wonder if we could be up here. You know, looking out to sea. It's possible. I was trying to figure this out earlier. This might be possible, you know. What if we're here? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, I think this is it, man. Initially, I thought this was too wide. But the more Googling I did, the more evidence piled up that this is the only ship of its kind, actually. And it only operates in Chicago. I mean, you can see it there. And when I saw its current location at this very moment in time, oh no, no, sorry, that was a few days ago for some reason. Either way, the location that it's showing up there is actually a matter of meters away from our location in question. So there we go, this is Chicago. Um, one of the very few views in central Chicago without skyscrapers in. I think Tim's head is covering the Ferris wheel, but you can clearly see the hotels there. Uh, it's a touristy area. We said that from the start. And after all that, let's see what this actually is, because it's not a hotel. It's, it's kind of an incredible looking place of fun, really. Navy Pier Marina with restaurants, a museum, uh, I imagine a bowling alley, right? And then further down, oh my god, that is a huge pier in terms of the size of the building. That is absolutely massive. And that's the end of the pier. Those buildings you can see way out to the right. Now I'm certain that many of you will have recognized this immediately. Now let's see exactly where Tim was standing then. I think we know, I think he was here. Oh my God. How isn't that in the... 2013, is that, has that been demolished? Or are we further over here? Are we? Yeah, yeah, no, I think what's happened is Tim is actually standing there and that explains the angle, how you can see that triangle and it also explains the lack of the building which is probably just, he's probably lopped that out himself actually. The crafty beggar. Ah, I can see the sign. The imagery is a bit chopped up, but I think I can see that sign there that Tim's standing by. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that he is actually there. Tim Ponsonby with an M. Tim Ponsonby. There he is. We've just done three fairly quick fire ones. Um, and the last one, which I thought would be the most difficult, was, but not as difficult as perhaps I thought. So that was a good day at the office. I think I've improved. I think those gruelling couple that I did in September, the one in London and the one in Haiti, have improved my way of thinking, my decision making, I think. That said, they were definitely easy ones. Either way, it gives me great pleasure oh, to do that. They're all exact. I don't need to ask the blokes in question. Okay, let me know what you thought of that one in the comments. That was a bit different, wasn't it? In the sense of the, the, the speed of it all. Because of that, I think I'll make the next one harder. But until then, Thanks so much for watching everyone, give the video a like if you did enjoy it, and take care of yourselves. Ta-ra!